It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install Unity using Unity Hub on your Mac. So here I'm at unity.com. I'm gonna select get started. You can see Unity is used to make a bunch of great games. You are not a business, so you don't worry about these prices. You're gonna click on individual. You're gonna select personal. And you are a first time user, but some students have experienced issues going through the first time user. So we're actually just going to use returning user and use Unity Hub. So I'm gonna click on go here. I'm going to accept the terms and I'm going to download Unity Hub. I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my downloads and I already have it, I'm gonna replace it. Now I'm going to go ahead and find that location and open it. I'm going to agree. I'm going to drag Unity Hub into applications. And now Unity Hub has been installed. The next step is to actually install Unity from the Unity Hub. So if I open up my once you've downloaded and installed Unity Hub on a Mac, you can see I have Unity Hub right here. I'm just simply going to launch that. Unity Hub is app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I do. I'm going to select open. So this is Unity Hub. You can see I previously had projects here. You will see that you will have no projects. Unity Hub is the location that you will launch all your Unity projects from. You also will add installs of Unity launch micro games from Unity and connect to the Unity community. Let's just look at the Unity Hub currently. So here is projects. You will see no projects currently unless you've previously made Unity projects. You also see create a new project by selecting new, typing your project name, or for example, selecting one of the micro games. For example, the Lego micro game. You could actually download and actually launch to kind of learn Unity. I'll press cancel. Go over here to the next tab from projects. I'm gonna see learn. And here are some of the micro games that you can learn Unity with. You can scroll down, see there's some other kits that you can follow along with the tutorials. And also always you want to browse learn.unity.com for more information. These are the projects you can go through, but here's also tutorials. So you can see using cinematics, using the Unity interface. There are a bunch of tutorials on how to actually learn about Unity on the learn part of Unity Hub. Under community, you can see you can actually connect with the Unity community, Unity developers all around the world. You can get forums, live help groups, those type of things. And lastly, under installs, if you have no installs, you want to make sure that you install a version of Unity. In our course, we're going to be using 2019.4.10. If you wanted to add other Unity installs, you simply click on add. And for example, I can add the latest version of Unity, select next, select the different modules I want to build. Modules are build support. So for example, build for VR, we need Android build support because the Oculus is built on Android. We need to drop that down and make sure that you have Android SDK and NDK tools and OpenJDK selected. If I wanted to build for iOS or tvOS, or Mac, you can see I can do that. If I keep going down, I can build games for Windows or Magic Leap. I press next, I would agree to some terms and then you would install another copy of Unity here. You can see I have this version of Unity, but I actually can remove that. So I'm gonna select and do uninstall. So it's going to uninstall that version of Unity and I will have no versions of Unity actually working. It launches, and if I try to do new, you'll see it says no editor install. Please install Unity before creating a project. I'm gonna dismiss that. In order to install Unity, I'm going to come down here to installs. Right here, again, it says no Unity versions. I'm gonna simply click on this area right here, add, and you can add the version that your teacher tells you. For this class, we're gonna add this. 2019.4.10. I'm going to press next. I'm going to add the check mark for Visual Studio for Mac. I'm also going to drop down this box 
for Android build support and also select Android SDK and NDK tools and open JDK. These are going to add support. The Android build support is going to help us when we're developing our apps for the Oculus Go. Just to kind of explore, if you were trying to build iOS or tvOS or Mac games or WebGL support, you would also add that functionality right here. So for example, I could add WebGL. Go ahead and press next. You're going to agree and you're gonna press next again. I have read and agreed to the above terms. I'm gonna press done. Now Unity Hub is actually going to download and set up this version of Unity inside of Unity Hub. So there's a difference between Unity Hub, which is allows you to learn and join the community and install ver different versions of Unity and actually the live program Unity that we will be building our apps in, our VR games in. So we're gonna let this finish installing. You can see Unity has finished downloading and now it's actually installing on the computer. Once it's finished installing, now we're able to launch Unity projects. Now you can see this version of Unity has been installed with Android support and WebGL support. If I wanted to go back and add more support, I can simply click on this little drop down here, add modules, and then add in iOS, TV, Mac, etc. I'm going to close this for now. I want to talk about licensing. So if you've just installed Unity, you need to install a license. You can see I'm currently logged in. I'm going to sign out. And I'm also going to click on setting, click on license management. You need to be logged in to manage your license. I'm going to click on login. This is the screen that should pop up. If it doesn't, try closing it and then you can go to sign in again and it will pop up. You can log in with your Unity ID that you've created or I would suggest using your Google account. I actually have both. So now you can see I am signed in. You can see I have activate new license or manual active activation. You're going to select active new, new license. You're going to select Unity personal. I do not use Unity in a professional capacity. And then you're going to press done. You can see now your license has been successfully activated. I'm going to dismiss this and you should have your activation. Now let's go press back. So that's this video on how to install Unity using Unity Hub.